Let's take a look at how to classify matter. Now first of all, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. So anything that is found on Earth or throughout our universe is matter. Now in order to classify matter, we're going to ask a basic question. And that question is, can it be separated? Can it be divided? If the answer is yes, then we have what is called a mixture mixture would be soil or a bowl of mixed nuts. It's easy to divide the Brazil nuts from the cashews, the cashews from the macadamia nuts. This is a mixture. If it is a mixture, we ask another question. And that question is, is the composition uniform? If the composition is uniform, then we know we have two options. If the answer is yes, we have a homogeneous mixture. An example of a homogeneous mixture would be vanilla ice cream. The same at the top of the container, in the middle of the container, or at the bottom of the container. Vanilla ice cream is vanilla ice cream. However, if the answer is no, then we have a heterogeneous mixture. Example here would be Rocky Road. Every bite is different. Sometimes you get more chocolate, sometimes you get more nuts, sometimes you get a nuts and marshmallows sometimes you get no nuts so this is heterogeneous because it is different throughout the consistency varies now if the answer is no to can it be separated then you have a pure substance the word pure tells us that it is the same throughout it is made up of the same material so our question here is can it be broken down by ordinary chemical means if the answer is yes then we have a compound. Compounds include water, H2O, always the same, two hydrogens, one oxygen, salt, NaCl, always sodium and chlorine in a one-to-one -one ratio. However, if the answer is no, that it cannot be separated, then we are dealing with an element. And an element means that it has the same atoms throughout its entire consistency, and that gives us the elements of the periodic table, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, and so on. So this little chart will help us to look at how to classify matter, from matter to mixtures and pure substances, mixtures into homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures, and pure substances into compounds and elements.